Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Giuliano, Chair of the Fort Wayne Trails Board of Directors, continuing my adventure to try to cover all 120 miles of trail in the year 2020. I just rode in from downtown Fort Wayne to the city of New Haven, and we have a special guest with us, the mayor of the city of New Haven, Steve McMichael. Steve, thank you for being here with us. Thanks so much, Anthony, and thanks for coming out to New Haven tonight. As, as you know, we're proud to be part of the Fort Wayne River Greenway Trail System with Fort Wayne Trails. We're, we're really excited to be a part of that and have that connection to the city of Fort Wayne. Well, we appreciate it. You've got some great trails here in New Haven. Mayor Steve, the first thing I want to ask you is your vision for trail development. What's on the horizon in the city of New Haven? What are some of the things you're working on? I come from a background in real estate, and one of the things that's really important to people when they move to a community, or even when they're relocating within a community, is trail access, be it to run, be it to walk, be it to ride their bike. They want to have trail access. So I understand how important that is to people as they're looking for a home. So we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to provide those amenities to New Haven residents and people that are, protect are potentially looking to be. New Haven residents. Sure, and a little nice economic bump for New Haven Absolutely. when people travel in from Fort Wayne and other communities. Ab Absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you for supporting Trek the Trails. And uh, as a reminder, to support Fort Wayne Trails so that we can continue to get this network built out. Thank you, everyone. What are some of the things you see coming up in the future in New Haven? What can residents expect as far as trail development goes? So we're actually going through a new comprehensive trail plan process that we're, we're laying things out. We've got updating that where we're going to have trails. Some of it will be hybrid, some of it will be on street surface, some of it will be separate trails. we got a lot of exciting things that are going to be happening over the next, say, four or five years uh, to our trail network. One that I'm really excited about uh, Lincoln Highway, which goes right in front of City Hall, is going to have a road diet either later this year or early next year, and that will include bike lanes on surface. So what that will do is that will make a loop. You'll be able to go through our beautiful downtown, go down Lincoln Highway on, on the bike lane portion of the road, circle back down here to Mosier Park and connect back. So it will provide a whole other loop. We're also looking at a trail extension that would go from the library to downtown. Uh, along Lincoln Highway as well and that would kind of close a gap that we have there because we've invested in trails and sidewalks connecting all the neighborhoods down green including where the schools are the high school and also the parochial Lutheran school are down there and that'll connect all those neighborhoods those schools down to the library and back downtown which will then be able to get on surface and come over here so really excited about all that yeah it sounds great I especially like the connectivity piece the fact that it's it's making it possible for people to use the trails to get to and from school, to and from work, and not just for recreation. That's great. In any year, but particularly with COVID, there's budget shortfall. So we've gone and looked at what things we can do and get the most bang for the buck. So those little sections that are, are, that are maybe four or five blocks that we can fill in, connect, and get that put together. Uh, we're also working as part of the Stellar Communities, a regional designation that we received a couple of years ago for the New Allen Alliance, and we're creating a trail that'll go from the community center back out to Molar Road, and that'll eventually connect down Molar Road back into Hartzell and have a whole another loop, which will connect our beautiful community center park also. Well, that's, that's great, and you know, really, really appreciate your dedication to trails.
one of the things I'm sure you get asked all the time is everyone wants trail in their backyard and you can only do so much. So if someone wants more trail development in the community, what are some of the things they can do to help make that happen? One great thing that they can do is support Fort Wayne trails uh, and they can participate in the $10 a month plan uh, to help get those trails happen, to let them know and be sure to let them know that you live in New Haven or you want trails, more trails in New Haven because what we need to do is we need to make sure that that need is seen for additional trails in New Haven. Uh, we're doing everything we can to fund, but we need funding partners as well. Great, great. Well, thanks for the shout out to Fort Wayne Trails for sure. So Mayor Steve, you know, you've got a lot of great stretches of trail here in New Haven. What are some of your favorites? Where, where are the places you like to spend your time when you're on the trail? Yeah, I think actually the spot from basically the corner of Landon Road and North River Road on on down by Krieger Park is, is just really nice when, you know, when there has been water because it does get a little muddy down there. But it, it's fairly deep into the forest and just a really, really nice walk or ride. Great. Well, Mayor Steve, thank you so much for your time. Thanks thank for your interest in trails. We appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. Happy trails. Fort Wayne Trails is going to be celebrating its 10th anniversary in January. And to celebrate that, we are taking on a new program called 10 for 10, where you have the opportunity to give to Fort Wayne Trails as little as $10 one time or on a recurring basis to help support trail development. If you wanna get involved, there's a link in this post. Go to that link and you'll see details about the program, but it's very simple. You can give $10 one time to celebrate Fort Wayne Trail's 10th anniversary, or you can give on a recurring basis and become a trailblazer, which means that you are giving to Fort Wayne Trail's ongoing to support trail development and maintenance. So thank you very much for your interest. Love to see you be part of the 10 for 10 program, and I hope to see you out on the trails.